Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the son of God, he said, throw yourself down, for it is written, he will command his angels concerning you that they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, it is written again, do not put the Lord your God to the test. We are continuing with Matthew chapter 4 today, talking and giving special attention to the second temptation of Jesus. Here we see the devil quotes the Bible. The devil is quoting Psalm chapter 91 verses 11 to 12 in order to tempt Jesus. However, Jesus responds again. He's using Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 16. In this temptation, Jesus is taken to the pinnacle of the temple in Jerusalem. What did the devil want to achieve by this? He wanted Jesus to test God by jumping. He also wanted to dismantle the purpose that Jesus came on this earth to fulfill. He's asking Jesus to jump and where the angels would have rescued him and there would have been a spectacular display jumping from the temple where people would have been gathered. And here he would not have been able to accomplish the purpose that he was set out to do by God. Here he would have had a spectacular welcome by the people on earth, where he would have a messianic following on earth. Here we are saying that the devil did not want Jesus to come and to die for our sins as our Lord and Savior to accomplish the plan and purpose that God had set out for him. He wanted Jesus to stand in rebellion against God. As believers, we look at the second temptation. We must try our best not to fall into temptation. We see that if we do, they can have dire consequences. We may not be able to fulfill the will that God has set out for us in the way it hinders and hampers what God has set out for us. So today, we also learn that the devil can twist the word of God. He is misquoting and misusing the scriptures. He left out a very valuable verse in Psalms chapter 91. He left out verse 13 and verse 13 states, you will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample on great lion and the serpent, which indicates his defeat. Stand in Christ today. God can help us overcome every temptation. When the devil comes to tempt you, I want you to remember what it says in Psalm chapter 91, verse 13. We will trample on the lion. We will trample on the great serpent. For the God that we serve gives us the power and the authority. So let us stand. Let us hold on to his word. Let us ensure that when the enemy comes, we know that if we know the word of God, that we will not fall to the temptation. So God, today, God, we pray, God, that we shall not fall to temptation. We will not fall into rebellion with God. I pray, oh God, Jesus, that we will continue to fulfill the purpose that you have settled for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.